the replacement was killed a couple weeks after. And I'm lucky to get her there alive. Perhaps it was luck, or maybe it was for reasons we will never truly understand. But against all odds, Trevor Green is alive today. 206 was a bad year to be a Canadian in Kandahar. We just shifted operations south from Kabul. So we, had, we didn't know anything. The 47-year-old story is well known, but every day that he gets stronger, his story becomes that much more remarkable. It's my defining moment in life. It was March 4th, 2006. Captain Trevor Green was in Afghanistan at Ashura, a consultation with locals. He had taken off his helmet as a sign of respect, and suddenly he was attacked from behind with an axe to the head. I don't remember anything of that day. Memories of Afghanistan are like movie trailers, scenes. He was taken to an American military hospital in Germany in a coma. One doctor said he might not come out of. I wasn't supposed to come out of my coma. And if I did, they said I'd, never, I'd be a vegetable for the rest of my life. But he says with 100% devotion and dedication from his wife, Debbie, together they were able to prove them wrong. Two and a half years after the attack, Trevor was able to go home. When he left the hospital, um, he was still working on holding up his head, and um, he couldn't. He could barely move any of his limbs. He had a lot of really bad spasticity, so his arms were locked in this position. There was zero movement in his legs, and now you know he's wheeling his own wheelchair. He's eating. He's working a computer. How's that feel? Every Thursday, Trevor and Debbie drive from their home in Nanaimo to Victoria for Trevor's physical rehabilitation. His rehab team straps him into this machine called the Locomat. It helps Trevor's legs move and has brought back some of his muscle memory. Just talking about walking can light up his face. I don't know how many steps I've taken on it, but it's thousands. It's great. It's inspiring because he never gives up. and. Um, I love seeing him do it because for the longest time I had to do it for him and I had to motivate him and I knew that if I could get him to a certain point um, psychologically and mentally and emotionally that he would take over and he did take over. Trevor says it's not a matter of if he'll walk again but when. Then his steps will turn to strides and eventually he says he hopes to run again. It's a big goal for him um, and it's doable. We're going to get there. He says the story of his recovery is well known, but the story of how Debbie helped him through isn't. It's why he wanted to write a book, one they ended up writing together. It's number seven on the Globe Mail bestseller list, apparently. It's been, a, it's been a great experience. He says he will never return to Afghanistan, but work to improve lives in that country will continue. The Greens have started a foundation to train Afghan girls to be teachers. Teach a boy, you educate an individual. Teach a girl, you enlighten a community. And that, he says, is the key to peace. In Victoria, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.